The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I can't help it if I make an impression. Apparently not. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued. Behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. The Konari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. Have the years been kind to shame us? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. I am always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. That's why I remain unimportant. Less pressure. As if the return of the Amels hasn't set Hightown on its ear. As long as it's off its ass. Sure, have your fun. But the coin you poured into Kirkwall tipped what balance there was. I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. You've changed fortunes for many people. Not always for the better. Sounds like you're spreading yourself pretty thin. There are a lot of people in my charge. Someone has to look out for them. You guard the guardsmen? I don't turn people loose like Jevon. There's additional training, doubled patrols. Costs are up, but I've halved injuries. I'll take it and argue with Seneschal Bran later. After the last captain, you couldn't have expected this to be easy. At least I had the guards on my side. Once they understood, they rallied. 
And those who didn't weren't fit to hold the crest. Stack friends against the enemies. I don't know if I came out ahead, but it's for the better. Grouse all you want, but the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here. And I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. Oh, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. We can't all be short and bearded like your people, Bodan. Indeed. It's quite a shame, really. Uh, there, there's a, a, a gentleman waiting at the mansion. He insists on seeing you. He says his name is Dougal. Your mother thought he wise, I tell you, Monsieur. I paid Dougal years ago. Why would he be back now? He wouldn't tell me, I'm afraid. He refused to come back another day, even after I told him repeatedly that I didn't know when you would return. It doesn't really seem like the most reputable sort, I'm afraid, even for a dwarf. You left him alone in the mansion with Mother. My boy Sandal is with her. But, uh, you make a good point. I'll run back right away. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bodan. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your business. Don't forget about your guest. Your mother claims he was iron the silverware. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. I suppose after the whole business with Carver, it's a good idea to hang on to what you've got. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. Oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. You know I can't stand to see a human cry. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? It's like you haven't moved in three years. It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes, that turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Do I get a kiss from the feisty temptress when I present her with the hard-won prize? If you want. I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> You've settled in nicely. It's just luck. And skill. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... So, how can I be of service this time? 
Someone's trying to be a god. Poorly. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help, and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. Why, hello again. Lovely home you have here. And may I say your mother makes for delightful company? Another visitor. We've moved up in the world, Mother. Evidently so. My apologies, Sarah. Your son and I simply have a bit of business to conclude. I'll leave you two alone, then. Be careful. Darling woman. A shame that she spends so much time here, alone. She fills her days making poisons. And cake. Tell me you didn't try the cake. <laughs> Good thing I just had the tea, then. Allow me to get right to the point. I know all this came from Deep Road's treasure. I know you repaid me, but I think I deserve a larger share of your fortune. Fair's fair, right? Isn't this a conversation we should have had, say, three years ago? What can I say? Things have gone poorly for me, and I'm a bitter man. Give me another, oh, hundred sovereigns, and I'll go away. If you don't... I'll make things unpleasant. Simple enough, no? What do you mean by that? Well, let's see. I think people would like to know just what happened to Bartrand, wouldn't they? I know he betrayed you, but nobody else does. Your partner disappears, and you end up rich? There hasn't been a single question asked about that. Yet. Questions could be asked. Uh, about you, about your red-headed friend in the city guard, about your sudden riches. Help me out, and my friends in the Carta will make sure the evidence I have never sees the light of day. There's no evidence. There couldn't be. Does it have to be real? I think it just has to raise enough questions. How badly do you want the eyes of the Templars upon you? Not very, I'll wager. Just extortion? Here, I thought it was something serious. Huh. It seems you've done better than I thought. Fair enough, my friend. Give my kind wishes to your mother. I'm sure we won't be seeing each other again. We'd better not. Hello, Emmerich. The guard captain says you're still chasing disappearing acts. That's not funny. I need your help urgently. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuis. Dupuis. That's a funny name. It's Olesian. I believe he is descended from nobility. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing. And I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard? Well, 
They rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. Fine, if you insist. I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I'm sorry, Emmerich, but that's the truth of it. What have you learned about Gascard Dupuis? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. It should be investigated, at least. Thank you. I faced nothing but ridicule. To hear someone say that is... encouraging. What do you need me to do? I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis' estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. Help me! Please! He's gone mad! You're not... You're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. So the wild-eyed hysteria is just for show, then? You don't understand. Someone is after her. I had to keep her safe. I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. Twenty silver if he says, it wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Let go of me! <sighs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Yes, can't you? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Selfish little shit. How many of you risked by keeping this to yourself? Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. He'll want to know what happened here. Tell him whatever you like. I'll be long gone by then. Time for you to vanish. Every man for himself. I'm headed to Darktown. If you learn anything new about the killer, find me there. I have a score to settle with him. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Did I tell him that? I must have completely forgotten. Don't you remember sending this message? I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. That's not a good sign. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Some men.
mage sent that thing here to kill him? Why would anyone... Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gaspard Dupuis. Did he do this? I can't be certain of anything. Gaspard may have tricked me. Then we need to find him. Do you know where he is? He didn't tell me where he was going. Let's hope he's not the killer, then. We'll track Gaspard down, just to be safe. My guardsmen will find Alessa, the woman who was with Gaspard. She might still be in danger. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. I do hope you've been up front with me about really owning it. I don't want to be at the mercy of that wretched Dougal. It's nice to be here, though. To feel like an Amel again. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look, too. I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. But I can't spend the rest of my life mourning Bethany and Carver. They're gone, and I can't bring them back. I guess I just need to start finding you a suitable wife. I like the doggy. <coughs> Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> it looks like they're having a nice chat. <laughs> Maybe Sandal picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp. So this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had, uh, more charm. You're talking about the shack I shared with my mother, uncle and brother? I meant Lowtown. Dirty, chaotic, glorious Lowtown. The smell of tar, and the sea, and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley. Oh. Don't you miss that? You can get your thrills in Hightown if you know where to look. Oh. And where would that be? I can show you what I have in mind. should go. That was an interesting diversion. Is that all I am to you? Oh, my wounded heart. <laughs> we were using each other, sweet thing. I was curious about you, and now my curiosity is sated. Wait, you're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? What about love? Love? <laughs> we were ratting. It has nothing to do with love. It's not always up to you. Love can be pretty persistent. I don't care. It can go pester someone else. Did you know I was once married? When I was freed, I swore I would never marry again. I can't imagine you married. <laughs> I was his plaything. A prized possession. He saw me with my mother at the market in Lemeron and decided he had to have me. My mother gave me away for a goat and a handful of gold coins. She didn't even haggle over the price. Bitch. Your marriage was loveless, and you've never experienced true love. <laughs> oh, I've been in love. I fell in love with a man not long after my husband died. He foolishly asked for my hand. I refused to be tied down again, and I fled. It broke his heart. Destroyed him. Love them and leave them, eh? That's right. He should have known better. How were you freed from the marriage? My husband took an assassin's blade to the back of the skull. And before you start jumping to conclusions, 
No, I didn't hire the assassin. I did thank him profusely, however. Ah, oh, Zevran. He was an artist. You're not afraid of being hurt. You're just afraid of hurting someone else. No, I... Look, it isn't like that. It's just easier this way. Now, if you're done trying to confuse the issue, I'm going to go. And that will, uh, stop the itch. Yes. Though I would stay away from women you meet in the port. Pirates tend to dock in unsavory places. I heard that. Just use the salve if it comes back. Uh, excuse me. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you? Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. We haven't talked much recently. How have you been? Good. I just love what Knight Commander Meredith's done with the place. The curfews. The midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. Is that making it harder for you? With justice? In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger is made of my friend. What's the worst that can happen? You turn into an abomination and start... Never mind. Bad joke. My control is fraying. I cannot hold back justice. Or whatever creature he has become much longer. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can. But this impasse cannot last. You're at as much risk as I am. That's what I worry. What if your money and position aren't enough? What if the Knight Commander turns on you? Everything I've done to control this. I don't care. I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. I won't lose you to this. Then come with me. This is your fight too. One day, the world must see us as people, not just mages. Help me make that happen. You got my letter. You've been gone a while. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this, and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine, has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering saw to divulge who is behind the thefts. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. Who is this man? I would not expect you to recall every piss pot from your past. That's the problem with being a big fish in a small pond. I could never tell the little fish apart. Well, he brags to his fellows that he grew up with you in Luthering. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing <coughs> me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel! He can't talk with a mouthful of broken teeth. Please, Miss Sir, help me. I knew you since you was young and loathering. I knew your mum's family and your pop. Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. Thank you, Monsieur. Us loathering folks should stick together. What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in loathering. Clean home, fertile land. Friends, in Kirkwall we lived in a hovel. People spit on us, and some days we went hungry. Trust me, things could be worse. Tell me how to stop the next ambush. As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much but my family. 
I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. I'll deal with you, Bear. Just give us something to go on. Oh, thank you, Monsieur. I'll talk. Hawk, this is Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug, are you ready to bark now? There's an ambush. Planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment, but make sure you have the Coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. Sabine's been a helpful chap. Plus, he says our villains threatened to kill his wife and son. They even killed his dog, to prove a point. His dog, you bear. You know how important they are to Ferelden's. Huh. <laughs> There's a thousand such sub-stories in Lowtown. This does not make it right what he did. But it takes the sting off. After all I've done for these poor refugees. All you've done? Sabine is grateful for all your generosity, and his heart grieves that he must leave. Now. Oh, thank you, Miss Ayers. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. <laughs> that was almost too easy. Wait, I recognize that lout. Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. So your organization is behind this? We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this, the rest of his life will be very short and painful. Tell me about this man. He operates out of the south side. Always had more balls than sense. His lackeys are loyal. Brecker must be involved. Let's pay Brecker a social call. We've got a lot to talk about. I've got to be sure first. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. Don't let them get away! You Coterie. One of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you, and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. This is a case of the right hand not knowing what the left is doing. One of the scum that attacked my caravans worked for someone in the coterie named Brecker. Lily said she'd look into it. I think Brecker had her killed. Brecker? Hmm. If you're lying... I'll find you. Men, we have to get to the bottom of this. Now. You must be Brecker. And you're that lice-covered refugee. You'd better leave the Bone Pit shipments alone. Understand? You're making demands of me. You own half a stake and a mine and you think you're somebody, huh? Some Ferelden's don't have the courtesy of knowing when to bloody die. found the thieves responsible for the cargo theft. I put them out of business. Excellent. 
With that resolve, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. Happy.